For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. About two months ago, I started the angel series on this channel. The Most High has increased our knowledge about the angels, their purpose, and their contributions to the Most High's creation. The fallen angels have been highlighted throughout history, outshining the holy angels. A little is known about the holy angels and how they take care of the Most High's creation and carry out the will of the Most High. In the Holy Angel series part three, I've talked about the archangels Michael, Uriel, and Gabriel. I did not go too deep about the archangel Michael because I knew that I would make a separate video about this angel. In the mix of increasing my understanding about the holy angels, the Holy Spirit revealed truth to me about the archangel Michael. It never crossed my mind that the Messiah could be an angel. While I was reading and increasing my knowledge about the holy angels, the Most High decided to share this information with me via his spirit. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. The time has come for me to share with you my findings on the Archangel Michael. Because of the times we're living in, the heathens are preparing for the return of their Messiah. The men of sin, whom the world will accept as the Messiah, the heathens are preparing to reveal this abomination of desolation very soon. The people of the Most High need to hear this truth to not be deceived with the false signs and lying wonders of the heathens Messiah. The scripture said in the last days, many will come and say they are the Messiah. The scriptures reveal some people will be deceived by these false messiahs. But many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. Israelites, make sure you stand firm in the word and allow the Holy Spirit to guide you on your journey. In the message about the holy angels part three, I said do some further research on the archangel Michael. I wanted to see if the Most High would reveal to you the same things he had revealed to me about this angel. I hope the people who have heard the Holy Angel Part 3 follow up on the Holy Angel Michael. I know what I believe and this channel is not here to force anyone to share my beliefs. I share my findings with you for you to compare with what you have discovered or what the Most High has revealed to you in your own personal studies. One thing I will not do is make decisions for you. A personal relationship with the Most High is something I've encouraged on this channel from the beginning. I hope every subscriber on this channel has established a personal relationship and is seeking the face of the Most High. The scripture said, if you seek me, you will find me if you look for me with all of your heart. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. The reason I post once a week on this channel to allow the remnant to spend time in the presence of the Most High, as well as to do their own research on the weekly Sabbath messages. Posting less is not only forcing you to be independent from teachers, pastors, and all who labor for the word. It forces the remnant to stand on their own two feet. The remnant must stand on their own feet and become independent, especially in the last days and when the word becomes scarce. I'm not here to tell you what to believe, but for you to make your own decisions and to research on what you have learned or heard here. Never follow anyone blindly. Following religion or an individual blindly is what caused our ancestors as well as us to fall into the sin of idolatry. The word said to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. I'm here to encourage the scriptures. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, 
not as in my presence only, but now much more, in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Israelites, there are countless books made available to support the word of the Most High. Always remember, it is the spirit of the Most High that reveal truth and tell you the things to come. The Tale series is the first series on this channel. The Tale series exposes the world of duality. The Tale series show you how Satan has a counterfeit for everything the Most High does. There's not a thing the Most High prophesied about Satan has not tried to imitate to deceive the masses. For example, the Most High chose the Israelites as the chosen people. Satan chose the imposters, the people the world accepted as the chosen people. One of the first message on the tale series was the tales of the two messiahs. On May 2017, I posted the first part to the tales of the two messiahs. Some Israelites and strangers at that time could not comprehend that there were two messiahs. August 2020, I did a follow-up on the tales of the two messiahs. By 2020, a lot of Israelites and strangers have come to the realization that there were indeed two messiahs a counterfeit messiah and the hidden messiah in the scriptures. Religion used the counterfeit messiah as the savior of the world. The infamous John 3.16 is the scripture the workers of iniquity use to support their doctrine. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 is the verse Satan used to get more than 2 billion people to come under the control of the church in religion. It's through the verse John 3.16, the sheep established many evil covenants with the Satans. Religion has transformed the counterfeit Messiah into the Most High. Through the deceptive doctrines of the workers of iniquity and religion, many Israelites and indigenous black people have traded their glory for the lesser. They have submitted to the counterfeit Messiah instead of the Most High. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Israelites, I hope you're starting to realize why our people is perishing in the church. Religion has transformed the counterfeit Messiah into the Most High in the flesh. The Most High said he is self-eternal, which means there was never a time he didn't exist, nor will there ever be a time he doesn't exist. According to religion, the Messiah who is supposed to be the Most High in the flesh has a birthday and a death day. You can't be self-eternal if you have a birthday and a death day. I am self-eternal not made with hands and without change. The Messiah the Most High sent was humble. In addition, the humbled Messiah did not seek to be glorified, nor did the Messiah ask his people to worship him. The humble Messiah that is hidden in the scriptures in plain sight encouraged his people to worship the Father. Religion culture has transformed a false Messiah into a God. Until this day, many people worship the Messiah instead of the Father. Religion has deceived them to believe the Messiah is the most high in the flesh, which is false doctrine. Before we go deep, I want to share with you basic information that many people overlook that could open their eyes to the deception of the worship of the Messiah. What is the definition to the word Messiah? According to the B Systems Dictionary, the word Messiah means the promised deliverer of the Jewish nation prophesied in the Hebrew Bible. The second definition means a leader or savior of a particular group or cause. In other words, Messiah means deliverer. Messiah can also define as the anointed one. The Most High has anointed many to do his will. None of the anointed creatures are the Most High. The scripture said the Messiah and Adam is made in his image. Does this mean we are the Most High in the flesh? No, it just means the Most High the Father has anointed his angels and people to do his will. The heathens define Messiah as a savior, yet they transform him into a god. In addition, the heathens define Messiah as the savior of the Jewish people, yet religion say he is the savior of the world. Which one is it? The imposters the world accepted as the so-called chosen people, 
Do they need to be saved? What are they being saved from? How can you be the oppressor and oppressed at the same time? Israelites, this is what you call duality at its finest. How are you at the top of the pyramid, controlling the world with the principalities and dark powers of this world and proclaim you need to be saved? They own the most profitable and largest corporations in this world. They live in gated communities. They have laws to protect them. In addition, anyone who speak one word about these people are labeled. Once they place that label on you, this give these people the authority to destroy your life. If that is not power in the beast system, I don't know what is. Any group of people that is waiting to be delivered or rescued from their hostile environment wouldn't be living in luxury in the beast system. These people would be at the bottom with no power to change anything. There's only one group of people that are at the bottom and have no power to have laws passed to protect them nor to help them. The heathens they live among bully and destroy them as their hearts desire. The mainstream media publicize their downfall for the world to see. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. Israelites, those are some basic understanding that will help you understand the world you live in. The word Messiah simply means deliverer or anointed one. Messiah does not mean God in the flesh. The beast culture via religion has transformed the word Messiah to mean more than what it should be. Religion has made the Messiah God in the flesh. The word of the Most High made the Messiah the deliverer to his people. The word of the Most High said the Messiah is the son of God. Israelites, listen carefully. Throughout the scriptures, the Messiah is said to be a son to the father. We are the sons and daughters of the Most High. Can we call ourselves the father or declare ourselves to be the father simply because we are made in his image and likeness? So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him, male and female created he, them. We are the children of the Most High and that is our role to the creator who made us. The angels, as well as the children of men, will be what the Most High created them to be. Your biggest adversary's downfall was that he wanted to be the Most High. Look at what happened to him. The Most High will not share his glory with anyone. There is only one creator. There is no one else outside of the Most High. He is it. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee. Though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Besides knowing the definition to the word Messiah, Israelites, it is important for you to know who are the creatures that are called sons of God. The Messiah is a son of God. Who are the sons of God? Another name for the angels are sons of God. The angels are also known as the children of the heavens and prince. Remember when the watchers came down to mate with the daughters of men? The watchers are angels and their role is to watch over the children of men. When they came down, the scriptures called them the sons of God. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they chose. There are several controversies surrounding the identity of the sons of God. Some people believe the sons of God are Seth's descendants, while some believe the sons of God are regular men. I have countless messages on this channel proving the narrative that the sons of God are not human males. If regular men have children with regular women on the regular basis, how come the world is not filled with Nephilim giants? The world is populated with us. Obviously, there is something unique about these sons of God that the scriptures make sure to point out that the sons of God are not your average males. Just like their children with the daughters of men are not the average children from mankind. 
The book of Job reveals to us that one day the sons of gods came to present themselves to the most high and the leader of the fallen angels, Satan, came to present himself. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them. If Satan is not a son of God, why did he come to present himself? The book of Job said the sons of God shouted for joy when the most high established the earth. The sons of God cannot be regular human males because Adam was created on the sixth day. Adam and the land animals were the last of the most highest creatures to be created. How can they sing for joy when they were not there when the foundation of the earth was being laid? The sons of God in the scriptures are angels. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou hast understanding. Who hath laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest? Or who hath stretched the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened? Or who laid the cornerstone thereof? When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. In my message about the earth groaning, the scriptures reveal that all of the Most High's creatures groan together to be delivered from sin. All of the Most High's creatures are oppressed and being destroyed. The scriptures reveal to us in the book of Romans that all of the creatures wait for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. The living creatures are not waiting for the manifestation of human males to deliver them. The sons of God in that scripture are the angels. Before the character called Satan in the scriptures was known as Satan, he is a high-ranking angel with a name. All of the Most High's creation and creatures have their own name, including the Father. Names are important with the Most High. Oftentimes, your name describe your character. It's only in the beast system the angels are grouped as one and names are replaced with titles. Each angel have a name as well as the spirits. The angel series has revealed some of these angels by name. As you heard in the scriptures, the sons of God are indeed angels. They are not mere men. The Messiah is known as the son of God. Just knowing the definition to the word Messiah and knowing who the sons of God are should be enough to prove that the anointed Messiah is an angel, a high ranking angel. When it comes to the indigenous black people, they need more. Let's dig deeper. You have heard names are important with the most high. We as the people of the Most High are called after his name. The Israelite bloodline is named after the progenitor of the bloodline, Jacob. Our ancestors call their cities and land by their names. The Messiah, the Most High sent, is called by his name. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. The Most High sent a deliverer that is called by his name and a visible image of the Most High. That way his people will recognize him. The scripture said a stranger's voice his sheep do not recognize. The scripture said his people would run from the stranger's voice. It was important for the Most High to send a deliverer that looked like him and called after his name. His sheep will recognize a deliverer's voice and follow him. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? Because the Messiah that was sent to deliver the people of the Most High is a representation of the Most High, his image has to resemble the people that are made in the image and likeness of the Most High. The Most High's original creation of men is the indigenous black people. Anything outside of the appearance of the people made in the image of the Most High is a mixture of the fallen and the original people. Remember, Israelites, it's not out of the ordinary for the angels to interact with us. The scriptures say you entertain angels unawares. The angels have a body that can transform. Not all flesh is created equal. But God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds, but also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. 
but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. In the flesh, the Messiah will look like the father who sent him and the people who look like the father. The book of Revelation described the Messiah's image in the flesh. Israelites run from all abominable graven images. Graven images shouldn't exist. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they had burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Israelites, it is important for you to understand, the Most High do not need to come off his throne to do anything. The Most High spoke the world into existence. He said, let there be light, and it was so. The Most High do not need to come off his throne to save his people. The Most High uses his angels to carry out his will. Majority of the encounters revealed about in the scriptures of the Most High are actually angels. When Moses asked the Most High to show him his face and the Most High showed him his back, and when the Most High descended on Mount Sinai, are the two encounters I can think of that were not of the angels. And the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mount and the lord called moses up to the top of the mount and moses went up and it shall come to pass while my glory passeth by that i will put thee in a cleft of the rock and will cover thee with my hand while i pass by and i will take away mine hand and thou shalt see my back parts but my face shall not be seen the sons of God, the angels, are unique. There are some that rule over other angels. There are angels whose ranking are higher than the other angels. There are angels that cannot enter the presence of the Most High in the tenth heaven. The angels worship the Father in the seventh heaven at the bottom of his throne. The scriptures call this place his footstool. Have courage, Enoch, do not fear, and showed me the Lord from afar, sitting on his very high throne. For what is there on the tenth heaven, since the Lord dwells here? On the tenth heaven is God. In the Hebrew tongue, he is called Aravat. And all the heavenly troops would come and stand on the ten steps according to their rank, and would bow down to the Lord, and would again go to their places in joy and felicity, singing songs in the boundless light with small and tender voices, gloriously serving him. Exalt ye the Lord our God, and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Only a few angels are permitted to enter the presence of the Most High and talk with him face to face. Michael, the archangel, is one of them. The archangel Michael is one of the few angels the Most High used a lot. Even in the apocryphal books, the holy angel Michael is the Most High's right-hand angel. The scriptures did say the Messiah, the Deliverer, is seated at the right hand of the Father. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. The heathens tend to hide their secrets in plain sight. The heathens love to pre-program the people to accept their false flags for truth. The heathens like to play with names. The Messiah that came in his own name have a name that is not related to the Most High or any angel in the heavens. The Most High interact more with the holy angel Michael than Jesus. The Most High is always talking to Michael or the other angels he put in charge over his creation. When it comes to the names, the heathens will rename the characters in the scriptures, but keep the names close to the original names. For example, the scriptures call the children born to the daughters of men with the fallen angels, Nephilim. The beast culture talk a lot about another group of men that they refer to as our distant cousins, Neanderthals. If you do your research, you will soon find out that the Nephilims are indeed the Neanderthals. The name starts with the same letter, very similar, but not close enough for you to link the two. Just as the deliverer for our people is called Michael, the title Messiah starts with the same letter with Michael's name, very similar, but only the Holy Spirit could help you link the two. The leader of the fallen one is called Satanel in the book of Enoch. Today, he is known by the title Satan. 
the devil is the evil spirit of the lower places. As a fugitive, he made Satona from the heavens as his name was Sentinel. Thus he became different from the angels, but his nature did not change. His intelligence as far as his understanding of righteous and sinful things. In the angel series, all of the Satans that corrupt the seed of man and the world are revealed by name. There are many Satans. And I heard the fourth voice fending off the Satans and forbidding them to come before the Lord of Spirits to accuse them who dwell on the earth. The Archangel Michael is the angel over our people, the scriptures confirm. He is the angel the Most High will send to deliver our people. The word Messiah, which can be used to describe a personality or character, is defined as deliverer. Michael is a son of God. He is the Messiah the Most High will use to deliver his people. Remember, your name match your character. The name Michael means who is like God or gift from God. In the scriptures, the Messiah is described as a gift to his people. Some people view the Messiah as a mighty God. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Did you hear what the scripture called the Messiah in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6? The Prince of Peace. There's only one angel in the scripture that is described as a great prince. He is the only holy angel that is given the title, the great prince. In the book of Daniel chapter 10 verse 13, Michael is described as the chief prince. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me. And I remained there with the kings of Persia. There are other titles given to the Archangel Michael in the book of Enoch, and I will share later on in this message. I will also talk more about the title, The Great Prince. Michael is not known to us as our deliverer, despite the scriptures revealing this information. The false messiah that is known as Jesus has taken his identity and glory in the beast culture. Israelites, a lot of our people overlook what is staring at them in plain sight. Son of man. Thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, which have eyes to see and see not. They have ears to hear and hear not, but they are a rebellious house. The true Messiah in the scriptures is known as the Son of God and the Deliverer or Savior of the Israelites and the righteous. Israelites, it is important for you to understand that the Most High will save his people. He is the only Savior to our people. The angel that would carry out the rescue or the deliverance of his people from bondage is the archangel Michael, the Messiah or deliverer. I hope you understand the difference. The most high is our savior and the archangel Michael is our deliverer or Messiah. When you look at it in that perspective, the most high gets the glory. The Messiah is also respected. Remember, the most high do not share his glory with anyone. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. The humble Messiah always said to our people to worship the Father. Remember when Satan came to tempt the Messiah? Satan said, if you're the son of God, key word, son of God, who are the sons of God? The angels. Satan said, if you're the son of God, throw yourself down and the Most High will send his angels to save you. The Messiah said, you should not put the Most High to the test. And saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Satan tempted the Messiah again and said, I will give you all the kingdoms of this world if you will bow down and worship me. 
If the Messiah was God in the flesh, do you believe Satan would tell the Most High to bow down and worship him? In addition, give the creator of the world all the kingdoms of this world? I don't think so. The Messiah responded and said, you should worship the Most High and him only should you serve. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. This is a clear indicator that the Messiah is an angel, a high-ranking angel that is over many angels and the best part of mankind. The scripture is referred to the Messiah as the Prince of Peace. Another name for the angels are Prince. Michael is the only holy angel called a great prince and chief prince in the scriptures. He is the angel that cast out Satan and the fallen angels out of the heavenly places. Everyone know that the Messiah has defeated Satan, who is the angel who fought against Satan, defeated him and carry out the will of the Most High by throwing him out of the heavens with his angels. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The archangel Michael is utilized by the Most High in mighty ways. Some Israelites do not believe in the New Testament. That is your prerogative. Some of us know how to find the truth in the altered scriptures because of the Holy Spirit guiding us. By now, most of you should know both the New and Old Testaments are altered. The book of Matthew said as soon as the tribulation period, Jacob's trouble is over, the sun and the moon will be darkened. And at that time, everyone who is alive will see the Son of God, the Messiah, come. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. The scripture said when the Messiah returned, he would send his angels with a great trumpet to gather his elect from all over the world. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. There are high-ranking angels who rule over other angels. The archangels rule over other angels. Michael is the chief of them all. The book of Enoch revealed when Enoch was afraid of the earthquake that took place in the heavens. It was Michael who sent angels to pick him up. It was also Michael whom the Most High asked to remove Enoch from his earthly garment. And Michael sent another angel from among the holy ones, and he raised me up. And when he had raised me up, my spirit returned. For I had not been able to endure the look of this host and the commotion and the quaking of the heaven. And Michael said unto me, Why art thou disquieted with such a vision? Until this day lasted, the day of his mercy, and he had been merciful and long suffering towards those who dwell on the earth. And the Lord said to Michael, Go, and take Enoch from out his earthly garments, and anoint him with my sweet ointment, and put him into the garments of my glory. Israelites, just as we have leaders in a hierarchy that establishes our households, there is a hierarchy for the angels as well. When you read that the Messiah was in his angels, know that there are powerful angels who are over lower ranking angels. These are the archangels who are above angels, measure all life in heaven and on earth, and the angels who are appointed over seasons and years, the angels who are over rivers and sea, and who are over the fruits of the earth, 
and the angels who are over every grass giving food to all, to every living thing, and the angels who write all the souls of men and all their deeds and their lives before the Lord's face. In their midst are six phoenixes and six cherubim and six six winged ones continually with one voice singing one voice. And it is not possible to describe their singing and their rejoice before the Lord at his footstool. The scriptures reveal that the Messiah will come after the tribulation, Jacob's trouble. The book of Thessalonians said the coming of the Messiah will be after the workings of the Satans. The book of Thessalonians said he will consume the wicked with the sword of his mouth. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. The book of Revelation confirm the Messiah is coming with a sword. We all know the sword of the Most High is his words. The scripture said the Messiah will come with a sharp sword from his mouth. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The Messiah is known as King of Kings, Lord of Lords, just as the archangel Michael, the scripture called a great prince. The scripture confirmed the Messiah is coming after the tribulation period. Daniel is a prophet in the Old Testament that the Most High used to reveal end time prophecies. We are the generation living in the end times. It would make sense that his writings would reveal who is the deliverer of our people. Remember, the Most High said, as soon as the tribulation is over, the Messiah will come to gather the elect. Who is the angel that will stand up and gather our people? And at that time, Shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people? And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. The great prince, very similar to the prince of peace. The book of Daniel found in the Old Testament said Michael, not Jesus, but Michael would stand up for our people. What did the scripture say he would do? The book of Daniel said he would deliver our people, a group of people that have been waiting to be saved since the time of our father and mother's downfall in the garden. All of our people who is written in the book. Sounds like the job of the Messiah. Let's go deeper. The book of Thessalonians said, when the Messiah comes to deliver the righteous, the dead shall rise first, and those who are alive at that time will be caught up together. But the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Did you hear that, Israelites? The scripture said in the first book of Thessalonians, the Messiah's voice is of a voice of an archangel. The scriptures clearly stated Michael is an archangel. The book of Thessalonians revealed that the dead will rise when the Messiah comes to deliver his people and the righteous. When you go back into the book of Daniel, when Michael, the archangel, comes to deliver our people, what did the book of Daniel in chapter 12, verse 2, said would happen? And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. The scripture said Michael, the archangel, would deliver our people. When he comes, the dead will rise as well. The story of the archangel Michael is identical to the story of the Messiah. Let's go deeper. The book of Enoch said, the Most High made Michael, the holy angel, over the best part of mankind, the righteous. Michael, one of the holy angels, to with he that is set over the best part of mankind and over chaos. Michael is the angel that is over the righteous. 
Is not the Messiah the lamb that was slain set over the righteous? Isn't the Messiah the shepherd over the elect? The scripture said the holy angel Michael is over the best part of mankind. When Enoch asked the angel that was with him about a fragrant tree, the scriptures went into great details about the tree. Michael explained to Enoch the purpose of the tree. Michael said that the tree will be given to the righteous and the holy. The fruit of that tree will be food for the elect. It will also be taken into the holy place. And as for the fragrant tree, no mortal is permitted to touch it till the great judgment. When he shall take vengeance on all and bring everything to its consummation forever, it shall be given to the righteous and holy. Its fruit shall be for food to the elect. It shall be transplanted to the holy place, to the temple of the Lord, the eternal King. Prior to Enoch receiving the purpose from the archangel Michael about the fragrant tree, only Michael could explain to Enoch and tell him the interpretation because he is the angel set as leader over the righteous and elect. The scripture went on to bestow another title upon him. Then answered Michael, one of the holy and honored angels who was with me and was their leader. The scripture is called the holy angel Michael, the holy and honorable angel, chief prince, the great prince, archangel, merciful, and long-suffering. Another title Michael has but was hidden, Messiah, which means deliverer. If Michael, the archangel, is the Messiah, what does this mean for the church? What does this mean for those who have worshipped the Messiah as the Most High? Israelites, do you now comprehend why Satan used the likeness of the Messiah to deceive the whole world into idol worship, a sin the Most High hates? Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. Israelites and indigenous black people, now do you see why there's no power in the church? Satan has imitated the likeness of the Most High and the Messiah in the church. Black people are dedicated to the Messiah and God in the church. Look at how they are being treated. The God and Messiah in the church can't even help them. Israelites and indigenous black people, now that the truth is here, all of you in the house of bondage, the church, the truth shall make you free. And whomever the son set free is free indeed. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. We are at the end times. The truth needs to come out. You will not find the truth in the beast culture or in religion. Israelites, there is so much more could be said about the Archangel Michael being the Messiah, a deliverer. There will be a part two. In the meantime, Israelites, compare my notes with your notes and see what the Most High revealed to you about the Archangel Michael, the Great Prince. Israelites, I've had many encounters with the Angel Michael before I link him to being our deliverer. Matter of fact, one of the very first videos I posted on this channel was about an encounter I had with the Angel Michael. That video is a three-part testimony in the Miracle playlist still available on the channel. Having an encounter with Michael shouldn't be out of the ordinary since he is the angel over our people. Israelites, this is the awakening. Nothing you learn in the awakening will correspond with the world. The world do not know the Most High. I will leave you with this. In the word of our Messiah, worship the Father and Him only you should serve. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities.